Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuei, joined by Natasha Martinez. Hello. We're looking at Tame Bot's online classes gone wrong. Ooh. Thank you, Tame Bot, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciated. And uh, Natasha Martinez loves your dog. I do. And I'm getting one soon. React to Indian online classes gone wrong. This I remember. Osama bin Laden, Ratima, best teacher, please change your name. Your name <laughs> has to be recorded. <laughs> These are different circumstances. Laluki Tapri, please rejoin with your name underscore. That's too much. This is not a joke. Your attendance is getting recorded. These poor teachers. Munni Name underscore. It's so sad, yeah. Our teacher, we really fuck with our teachers so much. <laughs> she is so sincerely, you know. This this ma'am right here must have worked with her children or somebody in her house. They must have taught her how to use this online streaming Aww, situation. Oh, that's but true. Karke, she must have sincerely prepared for the lecture. And she must have come. And here, kids, hey, 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 if I put Mia Khalifa, it will be lol. <laughs> and then she sincerely, Mia Khalifa, can you not, can you please change? This is serious attendance. Can you just put... Please, beta. Please, I get paid 600 rupees a month from the government. I don't have very much options except deal with your bullshittery. Can you please understand the situation I am in? Can you develop three and a half grams of empathy? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's definitely a no. Hello. <laughs> For drinking water purpose, this is my Khalifa right here. 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 These kids are fucking oh, with them. Yeah. These such haram jadas, yeah. Students are messing with them. He's so sweet. Look at him. His <laughs> headphone is like this. His headphone is like this. His headphone is like this. How does he do that? He's like this. It's you so know true. you are severe boomer when your headphones are like this. He's trying so hard. Today, he's going to buy a headphone from the house. And he's going to buy a headphone from the house. And he's going to buy a headphone from the house. What are you doing? Oh, God. So, I sent the teacher that video. Oh, my gosh. Nikolai of his left tip was removed from the <laughs> Jesus Christ. They really like Mia Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, this had him in stitches. <laughs> oh my god! His face! His face! When it comes to the teacher! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> it took him it took him so long. Just imagine Jab se ye baj hai na, abhi wo teacher dekh hai. Ye kya chal hai. Right now Abhi pehla jhatka hai teacher ko. Teacher is like kya? <laughs> For the whole time he's figuring out ki is kutte ko kaise nikale. He's just trying to figure out. <laughs> Finally, exactly video khatam hote hote. See, he's still finding. He's still no. figuring out ki kaise nikale. Ko nahi hai. He doesn't know ki Mia Khalifa's left tit naam ka koi banda ho gaya. <laughs> Finally, he figured out. Oh, poor guy. Poor teacher. Guy is so sad. Why is a teacher so sad? Why is a teacher so sad? So sad. The test, whatever the test uh, questions I have. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Did he just blow smoke? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a dick. Oh my god, what was it there? Test questions and fever. Why you are not smoking? You know, can you imagine just objectively let's look at it. There is a person who has very little incentive to make you a better person and teach you something. It's like agar aap gire hue ho, agar aap aise raste pe se gire hue ho, koi aur aake aapko uthane ki koshish karte hai, beta kya hua? Main aapki madad karta hu. Aur aap uske muh pe vape maarte ho. Fir bhi wo insaan politely bolta hai, please stop stop doing smoking. And you're like, hey, sorry, sorry ma'am. <laughs> oh my god i'm getting so frustrated for these poor teachers <laughs> <laughs> For a second. Oh, that was too epic. Oh, this online class has gone wrong is hilarious. <laughs> Funny online classes, Pakistan edition. Dekhte. Who was that? 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 The best part about online classes is aapko kyunki teachers ko technology mein thoda thoda to energy hai so by the time they figure it out it's so late they have to you know it's too funny ye kaun tha ye kaun tha kaun tha ye acha ko, koi nahi batayega aur agar aapko lag raha hai ki hum nahi ye cheez determine kar sakte ki aap mein se kaun bol raha hai to ye aapki galat fehmi hai aap final exam nahi de sakenge you also know that's not true आप नहीं डिटरमिन कर सकते इनके साथ वही हो रहा है जो चैट मेरे साथ करते Oh man, that's too funny. So, I ended up speaking for my college's news class like a few weeks ago. My teacher was like, "Oh, like do you mind speaking to the Chapman news class?" blah blah blah. I'm like, "Sure." So, I joined in on their like Zoom call. Uh oh. It wasn't that bad, but basically he started sharing his screen so that we could watch like my reel or like one of my videos or something. But it was on YouTube, so it goes to the next automatic video. And I don't know what it was. It wasn't anything bad. I think it was a Breakfast Club like Charlemagne the God type of like interview, and it kept just playing, and it was so loud, and we were all just like Pete, like just like press the red X on the window that you have open. He was like, uh, Natasha, like just talk to the class while I figure this out. But it was so loud. It's like, I couldn't even say anything. So for just like a minute, we're yeah. just like sitting there, like figure it out. But my teacher was like, uh, imagine if this was something bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, thank god it wasn't. Like, I would have just left. I've seen videos of some people walking in the background, like, butt-ass naked, like, and Jeez. it just... It's just, yeah, it's hard times out here, people. I remember being in high school and we had a substitute teacher who wanted us all to sign our names. I wrote Adolf Hitler. He goes, why would you write that name of all names? Mm -hmm. Like. Of all the names in the world, you chose to write the names of one of the most heinous and disgusting people that's ever lived. Why would you pick? And like, he really like leaned into me and was and making right. me feel really bad. I'm like, damn, I'm never doing that again. Yeah. I'm done. He had a personality like Tim Cook. After that, I just was never, I'm like that Southern drawl and everything. Like, I'm just like, I'm never doing Not that doing again. again. I got reprimanded so hard for that. That was the best lecture a substitute teacher ever gave me. Don't like encourage this. Don't like yeah. idolize this person or, or make yeah. it even like, don't bring, don't do You're that. Like, uh, and so when I, so and so when they wrote Osama bin Laden in the thing, I'm, or was it Osama bin Yeah, Laden? they did. Yeah, I was just like, damn. 
Like, I felt bad. Why? Like I was like child, my, my high school childhood all over again. I'm like, damn. I know. Um, it's true. They just like put up with so much BS from kids, and we're just like, hee 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 hee. <laughs> but then you add this like new technology element to it. it compounds These poor everything. Teachers are just like, yeah. oh my god. And I even tried to organize a Zoom phone call with a bunch of friends, and I was for the first time the organizer. So I was like, oh my god, this is confusing. Like I don't know how to actually use this. That's me. Like yeah. I use the internet every day, so I can just imagine these poor teachers how he was like putting it into perspective like she probably had her kids teach her how to set this up and right. she was like I'm ready and right. then you've got Mia Khalifa's the situation situation yeah. I can imagine how frustrating it must be for these teachers and like you can't slap the kids <laughs> if it's all on the internet <laughs> no can you well one of my best friends she just got her teaching credentials yeah like right as the pandemic hit and now she's looking for jobs but she's like I did not go through all of this like schooling to teach on Zoom. Like I wanted to interact with the kids. Like this was the whole point. She's like, this is not the job that I signed up for. I'm like, yeah, yeah no one. No one did. It's interesting that there isn't a way to set up the program in such a way that the kids can't mess with you. It mm -hmm. seems so obvious. Like, shouldn't there be a tool where the teachers can control that sort of thing as a preventative measure from happening? Like, the student literally has to, like, hit a button on the keyboard to ask permission, and, like, it'll show yeah. up as a color on the teacher's end, so they actually have to click to give permission. I mean, or, like, it just maybe seems you like, just gave Zoom, like, <laughs> a new idea. I would think that, like, with all the jokes going on with Zoom and whatnot, these kids messing with their teachers, and I can imagine how frustrating it is for the kids who genuinely want to learn as well yeah. where they're just like they're just trying to get through this shit mm -hmm. and these kids are, are slowing it down because mm -hmm. they don't give a shit about their education i can imagine how fr it's frustrating for every everybody but at the same time i see how it's funny oh yeah <laughs> it's totally funny yeah i mean i wouldn't be the one doing it but i would definitely be like oh like on the side. I mean, I've pranked people from Did time you, to time. Yeah. Like, but I don't remember. Did you prank your teachers? I have pranked a teacher. It was something dumb. I mentioned it a long time ago. I was in an econ class and it wasn't going very well. I just got out of high school. I was in college. I knew I wasn't going to do well in this class. I, I knew I was probably going to drop the class. So I got this test and I stapled a little piece of paper to it that said to keep a teacher occupied, turn this paper over. Okay. On the other side, it said to keep a teacher occupied, turn this paper over. Oh. This is a dumb thing. I turn that in as a joke. It's just a joke. And then the teacher calls me up after, you know, he grades all the exams. He goes, what's this piece of paper about? To keep a teacher occupied, turn this paper over. I turn it over. It says to keep a teacher occupied, turn this paper over. I turn it over again. And then he keeps repeating it like four times. I'm like, you just... <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> like, yeah, I like, I would have turned it over <laughs> twice and been like, Ugh. yeah. Like he was like really he was, not he, getting it. Yeah, he was so removed from <laughs> the notion of being punked. <laughs> he couldn't possibly fathom that someone would do that. <laughs> Like he was genuinely trying to decrypt the message. <laughs> he was like, what is this Egyptian hieroglyphic here that you're showing me? Oh I don't God. understand how this relates to the so to the funny. cosines and the and the graphs and all that. Like oh I'm like, no goodness. dude, you just you don't understand. You got a bad student in here. That's a teacher related thing. As a kid, I was at a high school game, a high school uh, football game. And I was in the bleachers and this guy was sitting in front of me and I accidentally kicked his foot because mm -hmm. I put my foot under the and he goes, he's like, he freaks out and he's looking down. Is that all right? And he calms down, I'm sitting next to my friend, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is too funny. And I kick him again, and he's like freaking out. And his wife is like, what is the matter with you? He's like, there's something down there, I don't know what it is, but it keeps hitting me. <laughs> I'm just like busting out laughing. Oh my anyway, God. yeah. I thought he was gonna like turn around and punch you. No, or he had for some reason he had no idea that it could be some dumb kid behind him. I was just about to say, like, when it comes to teachers, I remember specifically in fifth grade, our teacher, she lost it on us. Like she was in a fit of rage over this one student who I don't know what he did, I can't remember, but she started yelling and then started crying in front of the students. And we were just kind of like... She was having a nervous breakdown. She literally had a breakdown in yeah. front of us. She was always notoriously like a mean teacher. Like mm -hmm. she would yell at us like all the time. But this day specifically, she lost it. And I'll, I was like, wow, I can't believe like you could talk to kids like that or scream at them like that that aren't your own. I did substitute once for a ballet class with kids that were like seven through nine. And that's when I realized like I could never be a teacher and I mm. don't really like kids like that much. <laughs> 
<laughs> that wouldn't be my own. Cause it's like, you try and tell them like, okay, like do the routine or do this and that. And they're like hanging on the bars or like, or like dirty sticky fingers everywhere. I'm like, Ugh. I mean, I've had my experience for years teaching kids in martial arts. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about that is you're supposed to yell at them. <laughs> That's what you're doing in a martial arts class. Parents consistently came back to me saying how much they liked my class and that their kids loved my class. And what that taught me is that kids need discipline yeah. and they actually appreciate discipline. They don't know it, but they do. They appreciate discipline. Mm -hmm. And so when you have a teacher that's a pushover, like that first teacher here, it's like, yeah, kids are gonna prod at you and mess with you oh, sure. if, if you're a pushover, but if you're a disciplinarian, they respect you. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that I learned. If I had a student who was just goofing off, I would take them to the side and keep them in push-up position until they were ready to be serious. Oh. Like it was that kind of thing. And they learn real quick to either get it together or you're not gonna be part of the class. And that's embarrassing. It's like a military thing in a way. Yeah. Can't wait to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so yeah. supposed to be a strict father. <laughs> oh no, like, in my experience, I was a strict father for four years and she loved me. Okay. And we had a good, very good bond, a good relationship. And so, yeah, anyway, uh, this, was, this was a lot of fun. It was funny. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly and I enjoyed she his reaction. She was dying at, yeah. I forget which one, one of the second ones that he showed. But his, his, his uh, example, the, um, Sorry, I don't want to burp in your face. <laughs> oh, I definitely have burped. I was like, just keep it in. Don't let yeah. it smell like Mexican food. Oh, no, you just let it out. Just let it out here. That's what we do. That's what we do. You can, you, you can, be, you can be gross. The char does it all the time. She's like, <laughs> like, like, I'm like, damn. It's not like a dinosaur. The example he made about the kids smoking, he's like, imagine you're trying to pick yeah. someone up off the floor and then they blow vape in your face. It's just like, they're trying yeah. to do something for you. Why are you treating them so bad? But my favorite part was when, I don't know what it was with the Mia Khalifa, the, the sound with the, he's, he's basically replaying in his head, the teacher trying to figure out the technology <laughs> yeah. to shut it off and yeah. like realizing something's wrong. <laughs> like the way he went back over that, I thought that was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it was too funny. So um, thank you Tenway Bot for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Y'all make sure you follow Natasha on the social media. She's over there waiting for you, hanging out. Just hanging, waiting. Just, just waiting. Mm -hmm. So do it. I'm Jabby Coy, this is Natasha Martinez. Peace out.